<clears throat> we'll start first. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, I go on. Offense was going well early on, but then I think just one field goal over the last eight to forty-eight. Was there something that changed, or what? What made it more difficult to execute on the stretch? Well, organization. Um, that was a big reason why some of the sets that we were, we weren't able to get to what we were asking from the offensive end, because there are times when you know, your guys want to go ahead and do it how they want to do it, or they see something that, you know, how the defender is playing, they feel that you know, this is the best way how to run the set. And, you know, overall, you just got to trust. You know, you also have to trust, you know, what is being asked and, and then also plot. And that's where I think we got into trouble down the stretch, where it wasn't able to get to the offense that was caused. Um, but, you know, that's a learning process that our players have to uh, get better with. Um, speaking of applying sets, um, what, what did you see uh, on that final play? Was that similar to what you drew up, or how was the execution there on that last play? Yeah, so uh, it, it was it, it was what I drew up, but unfortunately we didn't get what we were looking for. Andrew? Trace Jackson Davis is a really tough opponent. He, came, he played the entire 40 minutes. Um, what did you see from him that was so difficult to um, to minimize today, and how what threat does he present? Well, I mean, he took 23 shots, and. Um, you know, he scored 28 points, and you know he's going to touch the floor, touch the ball every time down the floor. You know that's what we showed on film. That's what we talked about as a, as a team. That's what we practiced. And um, you know, Trace has shown for the last you know years that I've been here coaching against him that he's an amazing talent. Um, that uh, when he's back to the basket or facing the basket, you know he's a problem for any opponent. Do you want some of the close losses? earlier in the season. Do you think that creeps in at all uh, down the stretch just in terms of confidence or belief or execution? No, it does not. That's, that's your theory. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, um, players have to go out there no matter what game you play, no matter what the score is, no matter what the time is. Just got to execute and play. Jeff, um, earlier Hunter said it's back to the drawing board after this one, I guess. How do you get the guys to focus back in? What do you say to them to Get him to bounce back from this well, I'm not quite sure what he means by back to the drawing board. I would just say this: that we're eight and six, and we we have a a tough opponent coming up on the road, um, and that's a game that uh, we have to, of course, prepare and get ready for it. And we're looking forward to the matchup, but still doesn't change anything. One game at a time. Juwan, this maybe gets back to the original point you made about execution, but I think the last five minutes. I Hunter only got one shot out of all those possessions. Is that that's obviously not by design. Is that how do you how do you change that? I guess. Oh, well, trust me. We were trying to throw the ball into him. We definitely caused some sets for him. And, you know, just unfortunately, uh, you know, there were, you know, like I talked about it. You know, guys see you know how the defenders play. They, you know, at times want to you know, create something that is not there. And, um, you know, just stick to the strip and, and trust. Trust has to be there uh, for 40 minutes. Now, Hunter said that the progress has been, I guess, erased a little bit over the last two weeks by the, by just this result. Do you see it that way, or do you feel like this team has made some significant strides in the last two weeks? Yes, this team has definitely gotten better. Um, you know, you have 10 guys, new guys that are part of the team, and then you also have, you know, the boatload of the players that's going to get, you know, the boatload of the minutes or young freshmen, uh, it takes time. And uh, there's only one fat five. And that's, you know, a freshman, you know, you, you will not see that again. And, um, just have a certain different type of mindset. And I'm not asking for the fat five to come in here and save me. That's not what we're talking about here either. So I understand my point is that it takes time as the season progresses that you'll see, you know, our guys improve. And that's the reason why, because of uh, the, the work that they put in and, the game starting to slow down, and then you know the trust and the execution, and, th and then also just the effort. So, but then we have uh, new ways of whether it's defensively and offensively. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. And, um, I commend our players for uh, putting in the work and uh, believing, and, and at the same, at the end of the day, I still trust that we we will continue to stay tight, this tight knit group and, and still have the trust because we have six losses, eight wins and we're gonna keep plugging away.
we've written a lot of seasons on. We'll go with Zach and then Tony. Uh, Juwan, for those who haven't played at this high of a level, what, what makes like a tight one possession back and forth game down the stretch so difficult? And um, I guess maybe something that well, we, we don't Well, we played, we've already experienced this before, so, you know, this is nothing new. We've had tough ones that we lost down the stretch, Virginia, North Carolina, Kentucky. Um, so, um, I trust we're getting Anybody else? Okay.